today I'm visiting some of the tallest buildings in Leeds. Now these days Leeds has something of a skyline, but that wasn't always the case. For a record 108 years, the tallest building in Leeds was the Leeds Town Hall at 69 metres from the ground. But it was beaten finally in 1966, and along with the development of other high-rise buildings in Leeds, it currently sits in 13th place. Now this magnificent building behind me is Broadcasting Tower, which at 70 metres tall is in 11th place. This is part of Leeds Beckett University, with the smaller building housing the Faculty of Arts, Technology and the Environment, and the taller building being accommodation for students. In 2010, the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, an international body based in Chicago, awarded this building the Best Tall Building in the World Award. Broadcasting Tower is distinctive because it looks like it's going rusty. It is clad in something called Corten steel, which is a material that never requires painting. Basically, the top layer of the steel can rust to protect the layers below. Now, although Broadcasting Tower was built only eight years ago, Corten has been around since the 1960s, and I think you either love it or hate it. I quite like it, even though it leaves a residue of rust all over the ground. This is the building that topped the Town Hall in 1966. This is the Park Plaza Hotel, but it was originally built as an office block called Royal Exchange House, immediately taking the crown as the tallest building in Leeds. Now, it was built on the site of a cinema, originally called the City Cinema, and then the Savoy, the Tatler, and finally the Academy. And the last film that was shown here was Sodom and Gomorrah, after which the building was demolished. Prophetic or what? Let's go and see if we can get up to the top and take a look. the 20th floor of the Park Plaza Hotel. Now the Park Plaza at the moment is the fifth tallest building in Leeds, a title it shares with Tower North Central just up behind the Merrion Centre. 20 storeys tall and 77 metres high, it was top dog until 1973 when it was beaten by a bigger building still. In fourth place is Pinnacle, formerly known as West Riding House. At 20 storeys high and 80 metres tall, it was the tallest building in Leeds when it was built in 1973 and remained so until Bridgewater Place went up in 2005. In 2013, it was refurbished and renamed Pinnacle. Another building which briefly held the title of tallest in Leeds is Opal 3, built on the former site of the Londoner pub on Jacob Street. It was originally going to be 23 storeys high but was built to 25 storeys and is currently home to 542 students. It's 82 metres tall with an antenna adding a further 8 metres making 90 metres in total. Now it only held the title for about 12 months before being overtaken by another student building and it currently stands in third place. None of the buildings we've seen so far are actually skyscrapers. According to the Emporis Standards Committee, which is part of the German Emporis Real Estate and Data Collection Organisation, a building has to be more than 100 metres tall to be called a skyscraper. And at 106 metres tall, this one is well and truly in the ballpark. Home to 572 students, Sky Plaza is the second tallest building in Leeds and is actually the second tallest student accommodation 
anywhere in the world. And the view here from the 34th floor is absolutely spectacular. Now, although this is not actually the tallest building in Leeds, because it has been built on high ground, it actually boasts the highest point anywhere in the city. This building offers the best student accommodation in Leeds and is very expensive indeed, and it's visible from 25 miles away. Leeds has one more skyscraper to top the lot. At 112 metres tall, Bridgewater Place holds the current record. Let's go inside and take a look. With its nickname of the Dalek, Bridgewater Place is the tallest of the lot. And it's not just the tallest building in Leeds, it's the tallest building in Yorkshire too. But whereas it's the tallest building, it's not actually the tallest structure. That title goes to Emily Moore Mast, which at 320 metres is not just the tallest in Leeds or Yorkshire, but in the whole of the country too. Topped out in 2005, Bridgewater Place is a mix of offices and residential space. It contains 40,000 square feet of offices, 200 apartments and 400 parking spaces. The shape of this building has proved problematic in high winds with a number of injuries and near misses. In 2011, a man was crushed to death by a lorry blowing on top of him. Some work has been done to rectify this, but the problem is far from solved and more work is ongoing to improve the situation. There are many more tall buildings planned for Leeds. One on the former Yorkshire Post site, a 40-storey tower near the Leeds Arena, a 41-storey building on Bridge Street at the former British Gas Works, and one nearly as tall as Bridgewater Place next to the Tetley. So Leeds will be getting much more of a skyline in the future. But at the moment, we only have two skyscrapers in Leeds and the tallest of them, Bridgewater Place, is only 112 metres tall. Now compare that to the Shard in London, which is over 300 metres tall, nearly three times as big. But if we look at the world stage, the Shard doesn't even make the top 100. The tallest building in the world at the moment is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai at 828 metres tall. But that will soon be dwarfed by the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia at a mind-blowing 960 metres tall. So we have got some tall buildings in Leeds, we've got some great views and we've got a winner of the tallest building in the world award. But none of our buildings here are really that tall. And you know what? That's quite a good thing. This is Jonathan Strait for the Lowdown Leads.